Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today, I have the Lego Mindstorms EV3 boat. I was trying to figure out a name that has an E in it so I can use the three, you know, like an EV3, but, uh, but anyway, this is a cool thing. This has been a work in progress. Um, trust me, trial and error, this is, this is it right here. But anyway, it's really cool because it's enclosed. I can keep it in this tub. Hey guys, can you still see me? Um, and anyway, you're gonna have to check this out because it's pretty simple because I did all the failing so that you guys can see the easier finished product. So you're gonna have to stay with me. So I wanted to make some type of motorized vehicle here for water and I, I went through just a ton of ideas, one of which just did not work and it, it really damaged I believe an EV3 brick, just don't tell my school that. Um, but what I did is I just basically learned what not to do and so one of the tips is to make sure it stays enclosed so that things don't get wet. Um, but also I just, you know, like a lot of things, I just had to simplify it because the more difficult and complex I made it, the worse it got. So this actually is the simplest thing I think I could have thought of. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, we are back here at Mr. Hino's desk at my house. Um, the first thing you're gonna do, if you wanna copy the exact same thing I did, I basically just used one of these plastic tubs you can get at Walmart or Target. I don't know the exact size, I believe the label came off, but you can use my hand as some type of reference here. And um, basically what I had to do is drill some holes right here into the sides for the axle to come out of the large motor here. Let me go ahead and show you just basically what I did for, I'm gonna call these the paddles. Actually I should call it the paddle boat, that way I can put a three at the end of paddle that stands for the E. What do you think? But anyway, um, that's one of those things where I was initially going over the top of this and I just realized that it wasn't going far enough down into the water. So I just knew I had to get low enough, um, you know, to get these paddles into the water, these uh, 15 hole beams. So then I, I basically had to go, you know what, I have to go below the top of the, the lid here, which was the process of making this so tough. Because initially I was trying to get above here and it was just making me have to build and build and build. And I thought, you know what, that's just gonna make it too hard. So I simplified the brick here. So if you're looking, this is just, I mean, this is as simple as you can get. Oh yeah, that's right, I have the paper towel at the bottom here. The paper towel is basically so that if any water gets into that hole right there, it'll just get soaked up on the paper towel and hopefully not damage anything else with the motors or the brick here. Okay, so just under typical motor control here, I'll just go ahead and let you see how this is gonna operate. There's forward, there's forward for the right side, backwards for the left side, backwards for the right side. So let me just go ahead and pair this uh, phone up and let's go ahead and show you what it would look like with remote control. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what this is gonna look like before we would take this out and put it into water. So I'm gonna kind of show you the control here. So that'll be backwards. This will be forwards. If I wanna spin, you can see how one side's going forward, the other side's going backwards. Do it the other way. So I'm using the joystick here because um, when I try to do the sliders, it just, um, the sliders don't work as well as the joystick does. It's really hard to get both of them to go at the same time. So I'm just going to go with the, the joystick here. Okay, that's running pretty evenly. Alright guys, so that's what the controls will look like. Let's go to the pool. 
Okay guys, I have the paddle boat. Let's go to the pool and test it out. Making a funny sound, you hear it.
Okay guys, hopefully you loved the Lego Mindstorms EV3 paddle boat. Um, it was just one of those things again where it was a little painful to fail and you know get frustrated to go man is this really worth it um, but I stuck with it and you know we got this finished product so hopefully you guys liked it okay so just for you I went through all that pain and heartache okay guys I am Mr. Nino from Lego Robotics I'm out